Hey guys, so today, well, I got back from the cabin yesterday and I had a lot of fun toys waiting for me when I got back. So I've been having some fun playing with uh, the new Drunk Elephant Erase Micellar Cleanser, which, in my opinion, kind of more of a toner than a cleanser. I mean, if you use a nice cotton ball or cotton pad, it does do a decent job removing like surface dirt, oil, makeup, but when it comes down to things like eye makeup, mascara, long lasting lipstick, or even some long wearing foundation, it does have a little bit of trouble removing those. But to be honest, I've really just been using it more like a toner after cleansing, I used it. And actually last night before my mask, uh, I used it to remove as much surface level grime and makeup and things that it could. That was the first real test of it. And it did an okay job of that. Uh, and now I just find it to be a nice hydrating kind of toner. I kind of remember Drunk Elephant originally saying that they were never going to come out with the toner. Does anyone remember that? Or is it just me? Or did I make it up? Or maybe it was a dream. Sometimes I have dreams. Like, I don't know, a couple weeks ago I had a dream I bought this shirt. And I looked in the closet in the morning. It wasn't there. And I'm like, that was a dream. I didn't actually buy it. Anyway, so it's got a lot of oils in it, uh, some oils that I haven't even actually heard of. And it's got a really nice milky texture to it. You can see that. There you go. A little bit of it goes a long way. It feels nicely hydrating and uh, they didn't really use any harsh detergents or anything like that. So you don't really need to rinse it off, uh, which is why I kind of just like using it immediately after cleansing, kind of just like a toner I would use. I find toners do a good job kind of balancing the pH of the skin. This seems to do a good job of that. Speaking of that, I'll do a pH test. And uh, anyway, so I have like using it that way, although I haven't got a super long time to play with it. So I'll definitely be testing it more. That's why I just want to do a first impressions. Although typically I like to do a first impressions video after I've had at least like two weeks to try something. But since it's so new and uh, I was excited to play with it, I thought I would do a first impressions review, and since some of you asked for it. Let's see, the pH of this one looks to be about 5-ish. Can you guys see that? There we go, right about 5-ish, So, which is pretty close. The pH level of people's skin tends to be around 5 and a half, although some people's skin is a little more acidic, and some people's skin is a little bit more bas basic. That would be the word, term. Anyway, so I am, I must say I'm rather impressed with the price, $28, and it's 8 ounces, so this lasts about, uh, you know, a lot of toners are like 6 ounces. So for me, for the Drunk Elephant price, I wasn't too um, surprised with it, although some of their products are really more expensive. This one didn't uh, hit it out of the park like some of their other products are really, really expensive. So uh, their hair care stuff was rather reasonable, although the bottles were kind of small, so I wasn't overwhelmed with that. I think they're kind of trying to make themselves a little bit more available to more budget and more budget friendly, which is great. Although I still think in my heart of hearts that Drunk Elephant makes their skin care for dry, sensitive, non-acne prone skin. That's my thought on it. I know a lot of people with oily skin can probably use this. This one doesn't contain a ton of uh, acneogenic ingredients. It does contain vitamin E. And then a few of the oils in there are ones, some of them, one of them I'd never even heard of, which was a monongo oil or something like that, which uh, some people claim it's acnegenic, some people don't think so. It's kind of over, over, just depends on your skin type. It also does contain sweet almond oil, which for me doesn't cause any issues with acne, but for others it might. So overall, I'm enjoying it. I like the pH. It's not like an all-in-one cleanser, so don't buy it as like a really micellar, true micellar cleanser, because I just don't think it works as as well as like the Garnier micellar cleansers do a great job removing everything. Uh, this one struggles a little bit with eye makeup and mascara and things like that. But overall, just as like a second cleanse or like trying to take everything off before you do one main sink soap cleanse, it works okay for that, but I'm enjoying it, so I'll certainly continue to use it. And anyway, I'm interested if you guys have had a chance to try it out and what your thoughts are, or if you're going to be picking it up, or if you're not, or if you're elephanted out. I know some people are kind of out of the elephant, which, I don't know, 
I still love their Proteiny. So anyway, I'll certainly do a more thorough review after I've had at least 30 days to try it out. So anyway, uh, I'll certainly start trying to get back to more comments at the cabin. We have no internet at all. So it was a little annoying to not have any internet. But next time I go up, I think we're going to have internet. So it's like we're getting in with the 2020s decade or century or something. So anyway, thank you guys so much and I will see you more tomorrow.